Welcome to the week three live session with Diodit Louis. I believe that the last three weeks has been a wonderful engagement and session. This is Business Development Academy. And this is where we help you with essential skills and business knowledge for individuals and business owners to start and grow their business successfully. So this is the week three live session. And for this week three live session, we are going to do some practicals so that we can see some of the works we have done and give us a feedback on it. So agenda for tonight, we will review again the BDA assignments, then we we'll also emphasize more on our testimonial. Then we will look at our assignment in details and try to give some feedbacks to what we are doing. Now, the assignment simply says that we should prepare a business model canvas for our business, prepare a pitch deck for our business, prepare a business plan for our business, and also have submit a social media page for our business. And we have to submit on or before 27th of July to this email, bda247 at gmail.com. So we have received some submissions already. So we are going to be giving feedback to some of the submissions that we have received. Uh, we gave out a discount for people that want to register their business with Corporate Affairs Commission. So I will re-emphasize that again. For business name, people that want to do business name, instead of paying 30000 they pay 27000 For limited liability company, instead of paying 70000 you pay 60000 Then for upgrading to a limited liability company, you pay 70000 There are some other things that will also uh discussing with some people that can help you especially for the website um before the end of the week we'll be able to um have an agreement with the website designer on the further discounts that will be given to the members of the academy so if you have interest in developing a website just know that something is in pipeline for us and all that for our certificate it will be prepared uh, one to two weeks after this court, and we encourage that for your full name that you would like to put on your certificate, you should send it as a mail to us so that that will be prepared as well. Another thing that we want to do is digital trade fair. This will be happening this week. So what we want to do is to help you to promote your business online. If you think that your customers are on the internet, then this week we want you to send us like a flyer or a link or a graphic design of your business and what you are selling. Sell, send it to me. So we are going to share it on our platforms. We have a Facebook group of over 15,000 uh, people on that platform. Then I have over 8,000 followers online. So all these people will be able to see your business and do transaction with you. Now, another thing we want to emphasize will be our testimonials. We have received some already, but we want as many of us to be able to give us both video testimonials and write-offs because we are putting this together to be able to help the academy as well. All right. So I'm going to drill down to explain to us some of the content we need for the testimonial submission. <clears throat> so for the testimonial, it's going to be featured on our promotional materials on other social media platforms to promote the academy. So we need your name, your email address, your country. Then how has the Business Development Academy 
imparted your understanding of business creation and development. Then which topic or session have you found most beneficiary and why? Can you share a specific example of how you have applied what you have learned so far? So all these ones will be put together as writing uh, testimonials. Then we'll also ask, will you recommend the business plan academy to others? Any additional comment or suggestion for improvement? Will you be willing to provide a video testimonial? So we are looking forward to as many of us that will be able to give us a video testimonial. We'll be able to use it on our platform as well. So for the video testimonial, when you are done with it, you can send it to me on my WhatsApp or you upload it on the link here as well. All right, so we have things we want you to upload, like your picture, the video testimonial. Then we want you to recommend minimum of five people for this training course. You provide their name, their phone number, and their email address as well that you would like to recommend for this academy. So these are the details of the uh, testimonial section that we want you to do. Last week, we recommend some materials for us, especially books. Uh, the first one is The Winning Streak by Many Blessing. For anybody willing to raise funds and assess grants and things like that, I recommend this book, The Winning Streak. So The Winning Streak is a book written by my fundraising mentor, Many Blessing. And um, we encourage you to do that. It's a physical book. Then my latest book, Starting Out in Life and Business, is an e-book. That one is 5,000. Employ yourself, build a business, make impact. Also, my mentor's book, Dr. Abibola Mitoye, How to Create a Business that Thrives in Your Absence, 7,000. Then is another book, The 30 Laws of Money. So uh, currently, <clears throat> few of us have ordered for the book already, have received your payment. We are going to process it this week. So if you have money, just order for everything together, like the people that have ordered already have done. Order for everything and we'll put it together and deliver to you. These books are materials that you cannot get in bookshops. I'm telling you, especially this winning streak is only in our academy that you can get this book because we actually, all the remaining physical books that were remaining, we purchase them from the author because we know the value, all right? And we have limited copies as well. So we encourage you, once you order, we will send it to you and you'll be able to put them in your library. You'll be able to use them as well. So you can always shut me up to get this. Now, before we go to the practical session, I know that some of us will already have some questions already that you would like to ask. So I will give us opportunity to make comments, ask questions, make contribution before we go live to some of the assignments, um, business plan that have been submitted so far and some of the templates we have for you and things like that. If you would like to ask questions or make comments, two options, you can drop it as a chat. I will read it out. Then you can raise up your hand. We'll give you opportunity to talk. So anybody like that, You like to make comments, you like to ask questions, um, you want to talk about your business and things like that. Anybody before we move to the live session tonight? Anybody like that? You can type it as a chat. I will read it out. Um, if you like to talk, I will give you the opportunity to talk as well. So if we don't have for now, let's quickly move to the other things that we want to 
do so that we'll come back to this later. We'll come back to the question and answer section later. So just give me a second, let me share uh, this particular document with us. Just hold on. All right, so the first thing I will share with us is a sample business plan. This sample business plan, I will drop it for us later today uh, on our WhatsApp group. Uh, this sample business plan has an already written information and documents in it. All right, so it's just for us to use as a guide um is a free document we have on the internet already that i said okay let's share with you then we we'll show you some of the list of business plan template that we have i remember some people were asking for our business plan template and how they can get them and if we are for a particular industry or not so i'm going to share that with us tonight so this particular sample i'm sharing with us is on poultry farming all right, poultry farming business plan. So normally when you are writing a business plan, the front page is very important because the front page needs to put together the contact details of the promoter of the business and also the name of the business needs to be put together. So as you can see on this template, we have particular farms. So particular farms is the name of the farm and the name of the promoter is directly, and these are the location and the contact details. So if you are working on your business plan, you need to pay attention to the front page. Then a picture that depicts what you are selling should be there. And probably the logo of the organization can also be there. Now, these are, these are table of contents. So there is a sample that we have sent to you that explains how to develop each of the table of contents here from the executive summary to company overview to vision and mission statement to business development, and description, business description, then the product description, the pricing, the market analysis, the industry type and uh, market size, uh, market segmentation, competition, competitive advantage, SWOT analysis, pest analysis, business risk, marketing and sales plan, target market, pricing strategy, marketing strategy and activity, sales strategy, promotion strategy, product and delivery strategy. So then we go to the operational plan, the production process, the production system, technology and equipment requirement. Then we have the organizational plan and management. Then we have the financial plan and projections. So all these are what you're supposed to develop in your business plan. One thing about business plan is this. Once you have it, you will be able to use it to assess things like loan, like grant, partnership, look for investors, and even show people that your business is about to take a new shape. So like I said, this sample, I will drop it in the WhatsApp group, but it's not a complete sample, but I will show you where we develop it to and the reason why we did that. So the executive summary is like this. The overview, the company, product and services, 
the market, the competition, then the financials, just two pages for executive summary. Some people, they do their own for one page, while most of the time we do our own for two pages, all right? This particular business is seeking for $5 million in long-term financing to cover for startup costs, equipment, building expenses, and working capital. So we have the introduction here, and um, we have the company summary, then the company history, the vision and mission statement and objective. So you can follow this guide as well to write yours. But I want to show us something quickly. If you look at this aspect where we are talking about the product and services, you will see that we put pictures of what we are selling there. Breeding and selling of live birds. You can see it there. Process chicken. Kill, cut, wrap, and freeze. You can see another picture there. The eggs. You can see the picture of eggs. Then waste and liters as byproducts. You can see the picture. So anything you are selling, you want to ensure that you put the pictures there. Now, another thing we want to um, emphasize is the pricing. You put the price of your products for the prices. So definitely this is not the current prices for these products. So you need to now ensure that you go to market to look for current prices of what you are selling and put it there. Now, the other aspect I want to emphasize, your competition, you need to profile them very well, profile your competition very well and all that. Now, you know I said this poultry business plan document is not a complete one. Now, here you will see to get the remaining of this poultry business plan template and the financials, it is available for sale at 10,000 there. So over the years, we have worked on different sectors of the economy and developed business plan templates for people to be able to use to edit on their own, all right? So to get the templates, we charge 10,000 naira to get the templates. So let me show you the list of what we have now. Uh, the list we have is over 100 list of business plan templates. So we have Adira and Kampala, we have the Agritech business plan, we have Agro Commodity, Agrochemica. Now, by the time we, I go through this list, and if your own is not on this list, we can develop it for you in one week. All right? So when we develop it for you in one week, it's a template. So the name on it is not your name. The location on it might not be your location. When you receive it, you will now edit it on your own. So it's like a faster way to put your business plan together. So we have bakery and bread production, banana processing, banking agency. We have bike and delivery, uh, bike delivery uh, business plan, all right? We have block industry. We have business or business plan. This business or business plan is similar to what we do at Diary to Business Zone. So if you are interested in something like that, we have cake business plan, cashew production business plan, cassava farming, um, processing business plan, catering business plan, catfish farming business plan. We have katsu, we have chicken slaughter, Chichin production, cinema, house, business plan, cleaning agency, cleaning and janitor service, cocoa production and processing, cocoa yam farming, cooking gas, business plan, cosmetology, business plan. We have cutting, we have Korea services, we have fresh, dairy, diesel, haulage, we have driving school, dry cleaning business plan, uh, e-commerce 
electricity, cost people. Like I said, if yours is not on this list, we can develop it for you as well. Electricity equipment, event management, fashion, garment, and retail. We have feed meal business plan, frozen food business plan, furniture, ginger, goats, grocery. We have granite, gin, hair salon, aba medicine, hide and skin, owning production business plan. Uh, we have hospital, hostel, hotel, hydroponics, ice, water, block production, ICT business plan, insurance, integrated agribusiness. Integrated agribusiness means combination of both poultry and both animal rearing and crop production. That's what is called integrated. Interior decoration business plan, laboratory business plan, law practice, leather, lightning installation. Uh, somebody will say, how long does it take us to put this together? This list I'm mentioning to you now, it took us close to eight years to put this together. So it wasn't like we just sat down it's as people demanded that we are putting this together. Maize farming, marine, uh, meat production, we have uh, media entertainment, medical equipment, microfinance, mobile kitchen, uh, moringa, mushroom, music equipment, uh, nanny agency business plan, NGO business plan, nylon production, online TV, organic food store, uh, paint production, palm carne, palm oil, paper recycling, petrol station, pharmacy, photography, Pigree, pineapple, plantain, uh, plantain ships, plantain farming, plastic bottle, popcorn business plan, uh, poultry business plan, printing, uh, multimedia, query, raw good, real estate, recreational business plan. And uh, quite a lot that we have here. Like I said, if yours is not here, we can develop for you. So currently on this list, we have 125 uh, business plan templates. So each one is 10,000 Naira. Uh, if you want to pick any one of them, we, we, the only thing we will do for members of the academy is that if you are picking more than one, maybe you want to pick two, three, then we'll give you further discounts uh, for it. So for example, we can say pick three for 20,000 Naira. So we can do that. We'll talk to our manager. So we can do that. that okay, you can pick three business plan for just 20,000 Naira instead of paying 30,000 Naira. So that will just be like a kind of bonus that you get for this. So for people that looking for ideas to start, they don't have specific business they want to start, you can study this and be able to do that so we'll drop this in the group another thing that is currently loading from our own side is um opportunity for us to be able to use ai for business plan uh development but when the opportunity comes we'll share with you the procedure and how it will go so that's the first thing I want to uh, talk about tonight. So this particular template, we'll drop it in the uh, WhatsApp group. So I'm going to share with us the another um, template that we've already dropped in the group, which is the business model canvas. Because we ask that our assignment we are submitting is on this business model canvas. So I put this one together during the week so that we'll be able to also understand it. So it usually starts from customer segment. Who are the target um, customer that you are putting together for this? So you put your you can look at your customer in terms of maybe age range, 
you can look at this as are you doing b to b or b to c b to b is business to business b to c is business to customer so you want to know if you are doing any of these things then we have the customer relationship then the value proposition this value proposition is to know which well, what are you proposing to them what value is your business giving us the fastest delivery all right is he giving us the for example let's use that poultry for example are you giving us the biggest egg ever in the poultry industry or are you giving us organic um organic uh production that means you are not adding any chemical to your poultry products you get now so what is the value proposition key activity what are those things that you are going to do in terms of activity key partners who are the people that will partner with you in delivering of this business key resources channels cost structure and revenue stream if you look at our week one we have done extensive explanation on this um business model canvas and the uses of this is that it helps you to see your business on one sheet of paper on one canvas all right it helps you to see your business like that so this business model canvas is one of your assignment. I want you to take time to do it because when you do it, even if it's an idea that you have, take time to do this because it will really, really help you in the business. So I will stop this. I will share another thing now, which I've also dropped in the group. Uh, our pitch deck this pitch deck we have done extensive work on it as well in our week one so we encourage us if you don't understand this very well go back again to week one videos and study it we have a whole video on how to prepare this pitch deck and the platform that we used is Canva, canva.com. All right, I, I will try and see if I can open on Canva before we finish tonight to show us some practical stuff. On Canva, we have the free version and we have the paid version. The free version can do a lot, a lot of designs. Apart from pitch deck, you want to do flyer and all those small, small designs. You can do them on Canva. So what you just do is to, to edit this. So for example, I can do something like particular farms. So let's say I want to edit this now. I'll just edit this to particular farms. You see the way you are editing it. I can change the color of this to another color if I so wish then what do we do production production of poultry products production of poultry products that's what we'll do so these are ways you keep editing this document all right poultry products so these are ways you keep editing it so i need to show also that you will not say <clears throat> i don't know how to edit it so this is how you will edit your document so slide two is introduction all these pictures you can change it to your own picture if you have a picture you want to use problem statement you put it target market you put it the solutions you are providing 
then the traction. Traction is what you have achieved thus far. Then we have the marketing strategy. Then we have market competition. So you have our team. So here you put your picture, you change all these pictures to your team members' picture. You give them a role. Maybe they are CEO. All right. Maybe this one is a marketing manager. All right. Now, for some of us that will be applying for one grant or the other, some of the things they will ask you to submit is this pitch deck. And that's the reason why it's one of the requirements for you to graduate in the academy. You must be able to prepare one for yourself. All right. You must be able to prepare one for yourself. Now, I know that some of you, you will like to contract your business plan right off. And like we have some of our clients on this call now that we are helping to develop a robust business plan. But because you have passed through this academy, it has opened your mind to be able to know the requirements so that nobody just writes you any rubbish and give to you. The same thing with pitch deck as well. You must be able to recognize a solid pitch deck in such a way that you are in the academy now, you can write it yourself, but if you want to give it to outsider to do for you, you know the expectation already. So that's the essence of being part of the academy. Then you put your contacts here. And uh, thank you for watching. So these are the aspects that you need to, to understand and go through. So before I will invite uh, Mr. Peter, our manager, to start giving feedback to some of the work that has been submitted thus far, I would like to open a Canva for us and see some magics we can also do on that platform as well. So I will quickly go to my Canva and open for us. Um, Okay, so let me share the Canva platform for us. So what if you can see this Canva, just type I can see. If you can see the Canva platform, just type I can see on the on the meeting chat. If you can see it, just type I can see it. So that I know we are together. Okay, uh, Oluwa Folao say I can see it. Uh, Remo say I can see it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So you need to go to the website www.canva.com. When you get there, you have a lot of things you can do here from flyer project for your social media to, um, uh, this pitch deck you we mentioned. So, for example, if you want to do something on agriculture, for example, you can say pitch deck agriculture templates. I want to see if you are going to have any sample that will come out. So, here you can see sustainable agriculture. You can see different, different pitch deck sample. This, this was the one I downloaded for us. This Canva, there is a free version which you can start using as from tonight. There is a paid version as well, all right? So, but you don't need to have paid version before you, let me open this for us so that we see how we can customize the use. is opening let's wait for it all right so this is an example of a uh, pitch deck so here now you can 
do adjustment about our company. You write about our company here. If you don't like the color, you can change the color. Like this color now, you can change it from green to, let's say you want it to be yellow. All right. You see now, it, it has changed color to a, a kind of uh, yellow light kind of color. So you can do adjustment. If you want to do flyer, you just type fly, flyer here. Let's say you want to use the flyer for, uh, let's say, how do we know free one? Once you get to the website, canva.com, and you register, that's a free one. You'll be able to use it. But in the process of using, maybe you click on something. They might say this particular design is only available for people that pay. But these other ones are available for people that want to try the free version. You understand? So just go to www.canva.com and register there. You'll be able to, to use it. So let me... Uh, uh -huh. Let's say, let's go to home page so that we can look at some other designs that we can do. So in this home page, you will see something like uh, social media uh, content that we can uh, develop. All right, let's say uh, social media. So imagine you want to design Instagram post square, Facebook post, landscape. You understand now, you just click on them and you edit them. You want to do uh, all these things. And if you really want to learn how to use Canva, you can also go on, YouTube, just type Canva training. You will see people that have done a lot of trainings around uh, Canva that will really help you. So at this point, um, I don't know if we have questions before we start giving feedback on the assignment. Do we have any feedback, any question so far? I've talked about business plan. I've talked about uh, business model Canva. I've talked about pitch deck. Do we have question? Or we wait till we are done with everything tonight. If you want to ask question, just drop it in the in the chat platform. Or if you want to talk, you raise up your hand. We we'll give you the opportunity to talk. All right, uh, while we wait for people that would like to make contributions, let's go to feedback for some of our assignment that has been submitted uh, thus far. Okay, so just give me some minutes while we open some of the documents. Just hold on. Okay. Okay, so uh let me so let me share uh the first one I will be sharing with us is the business model canvas of one of us that has submitted uh, his own business model canvas. Bidage Foods. 
All right. Uh, it's one of the first person that submitted the assignment. Uh, be be careful. I remove Felix and um. This is a very good one that I has put together. Um, for the business model canvas, let me start. Uh, Mr. Peter, can you see it very well? Let's hear from you first. Mr. Peter, are you with us? Yes, I'm here, sir. Okay, nice. Um, are you able to see what I'm projecting? Yes, I can see it. I'm also trying to open it on my end. I'm on my system too. On oh, your system too. Okay, oh. nice, nice, nice. You can you can open it from your from your end. Okay. So would you stop sharing so that I probably I could share from here or something? Okay, from your end. Okay, nice, nice. So please let's listen to Mr. Peter. He will be giving us some feedback based on the submission so far. So he will be sharing from his own name. All right, can we see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay. So basically we are yet to just do a little bit of speaking to what we have submitted so far so that we can improve on it from our end. So when I joined the call, I observed that we've discussed a little on what is expected of us in the business plan, business model canvas and all that. Sorry, good evening. Pardon my manners, my name is Peter. So let's uh, take it off from there. All right, so we'll start with the business model Canva, like uh, Mr. Dyer has started with. I'll basically just run through and see how that we can improve on what we have here. So by not doing it necessarily, but just telling us what is expected of us. So the first thing we have here is, you know, we all know that by now we should know that there are about nine segments in this Canva that we have to fill. And the essence is such that anybody that sees our, our this Canva can say, okay, this is what this business is about. It's just like saying, having your business plan in um, a single page, you know, that is well detailed. So the first thing we have here is key partner. So what do we mean by key partners? Basically what we are referring to is who are those that can work with you on this journey to achieve this, your business? Who are those that probably you'll be selling to what are those that you have to partner with and all of that? So um, I may be using some of what we have on this document or probably having to refer to this BDA now as a business, you know, seeing how that, you know, what's supposed to be there. So the first one is key partner. So for this business now, it's in our key partner, are those buying, you know, so now first thing you must know is, it's supposed to be just key points. You don't necessarily have to explain by saying our this, we are going to do this and all that, just key points. Okay, when we say, who are your key partners? Number one, we have um, maybe wholesalers as one of the key partners. Maybe we have, um, when we say wholesalers now, you might just give in brackets examples. We have superstores, supermarkets, and all of those things. You don't necessarily have to give details to the name of those specific ones. But of course, you can also do that to show that you have narrowed it down. But what if the other ones, are you saying that these are the only ones you'll be targeting? So when we say key partners for this business, I want to assume that this business is into selling of edible products from what I've seen so far. So you package product and you sell. 
So, okay, from the name, some something, be large foods. So, you sell food items, right? So, your key partners could be um, wholesalers, like you have said, and which might include supermarkets and the like. Who are some other people that you'll be partnering with? Some of the people you want to be partnering with can also be marketers. Maybe there's a marketing agency that you will partner with for them to maybe like an online platform, somebody that can help you showcase your product to the world. That can be a key partner. So what we are doing is just list who those key partners are. Are we together? Yes, we are together. Okay. So another thing is key activities. This is referring to what are the key activities that are involved in this business. So this business of maybe packaging of food stuff and selling, what exactly do we do? Number one could be that buy raw materials. Um, maybe we have to, let's say for instance, we want to process normal raw beans to say maybe powdered beans. We have to get raw beans. Next thing could be that we have to look for a way to remove the peel. Another thing could be that we'll break it into powder, maybe by grinding. The next thing could be that we'll package it, then we'll market. So those are the key activities. Points, points, you know, in bullet points, let's just see basically what and what are you going to do in the business, your core activities. So this one, I say we are looking, we are into packaging and branding of stamp of food. So like I said the other time, we don't need to detail this way. They just give bullet points that anybody that sees it understand what exactly you are referring to. And what we have stated here now is not what is expected of this particular segment. So you say we pack in various sizes, you know, to suit household needs and all of that. So we can actually say this in bullet points to so say, okay, we package, you know, in several sizes, then the next one, maybe we'll market and all that. Value proposition is basically talking about what differentiates you from, from other people. I'll show us a life sample eventually when we are done, but I'm just trying to speak to everything. What makes you different from every other person? What are you doing differently? Say, for instance, uh, we could say that our value proposition is that you get whatever you order. Maybe, for instance, you don't, have, you don't do physical store. Maybe they do online buying. You could say that from everywhere in the world where you are ordering, you get to deliver at your doorstep in 15 minutes. That is a value proposition. That is what makes you different from other persons. So we want to really look at what exactly are you doing differently. So let's see what we have here. Our value proposition include packaging of the finest quality food item that would be readily available for customers to provide employee. Well, this is good, but it can be better. You have to really pin it down to something specific. So that's uh, you know, is what is expected from that segment. Then we have customer relationship. Relationship with our customer is cordial. And basically, we are looking at how that you want to maintain that relationship. Maybe um, what and what are you doing in that regard? And like I said, we want it in bullet points. Same thing applicable to every other one. So, so that we'll not dwell too much into time. Let me show us the sample that was used in the video um that we actually washed so that we can use that together i think i have it opened so this is the sample that was used in that video so the first one now which is key partner look at what we have here key partners who are the key partners let's say we are using bdr as a case study now one of the people who want to collaborate with us partner is guest speakers when we do this course who are those that will come experts that will come and maybe speak on the or facilitate the training. Another thing, or people who will be going outside to speak somewhere so that they can talk about this course. Another thing is educational institution. Maybe want to reach out to schools, university, we'll tell them to come and enroll their students and all of that. Business organizations, people that can enroll their staffs and all that. So you can see the way we just did it in bullet points like this. Just by seeing it, we understand where we are referring to. Key activities, what are the key activities we will be doing on this course to ensure that we put this course together? Let's assume that this is a business. One of the first thing we want to do is we want to develop the curriculum. Having developed the curriculum and we have packaged everything, the next thing is to market it. Then how are we delivering it? We'll be delivering it using online platforms. So the next thing is to see 
how that will deliver the course content, either online, offline, maybe physical presentation and all of that. Maybe there's a segment of this course that has to do some physical training. So that's why probably we have online and offline course content. So the next one is hosting of webinars, live sessions, workshop, where people can enroll in. And, you know, that is a way of also ditching out whatever we have in this course. Don't forget that what we have is just a sample. It's not, you know, the full ideal thing. Value proposition. Now, this business academy is tailored specifically for African markets. Why? Because we have taken time to see that there's a need for it within African space. So we are focusing specifically on African markets. That is one thing that differentiates us from others. There can be several courses that everybody from anywhere can you know, partake of. Good and fine. People from outside Nigeria can participate in this. But then we are looking specifically at African market space. What are the gaps that we have noticed in that space and we are trying to fill? So I, I hope we are getting what I mean by narrowing it down to something. Another thing that differentiates us from others is there's flexibility in our learning uh, process. You can learn at your pace, you can learn on the go, you can learn in the vehicle, you can learn everywhere. Now, the course is also delivered by industry experts. These are specific things that differentiate us from other persons. So that is what I expect us to do when we are actually doing this, such that people can really have an in-depth knowledge of what we say we are doing in this business. Now, for customer relationship, how do we plan to maintain customer relationship? Number one is to have maybe an, an interactive platform like you have on that WhatsApp group now. Those are some of the things. Okay, we want to ensure that we create a community where people can interact with each other. So you that you are into um, maybe sales of food now, what are you doing in that regard? Do you maybe at the point of sales, you collect their email and you send them emails and say, okay, give us feedback. How was the product? Maybe after two months, you want to reach out again, you know, periodically maybe you have known that these products will serve them for 30 days maybe on the 28th day you want to reach out to them and say how has been the experience so far you understand maybe you have a comment section where people can give feedback and say okay so so thing is missing in this product so that you can ensure that there's consistent communication with your customer so that's what we mean by customer relationship how do you intend to ensure that relationship and that thing for this course is that there's mentorship and coaching sections like we're having this live section now, that's an opportunity for you not just to listen to pre-recorded classes, but also to discuss in person. This is our own way of ensuring that there is relationship between ourselves and our customer. We are getting to get their feedback, know what they need, and see how that we can address it. Now, on that thing is customer segmentation. Who are those that we are really targeting specifically? There are so many people that are into business, but who are those people that we are trying to read? Number one is aspiring entrepreneurs, people that are looking to go into the business space anytime from now. Small business owners who are just selling, but there's no proper structure around what they are doing. Students who are looking at, okay, what is the next line of action, maybe after school or within the school system. Or professionals that want to go from nine to five to business. So these are specific people we are looking at. Now, let's see what you have here. Our customers are buying among various options due to proposals. So you can see that this is actually quite different. So who are those specifically that you are selling to? This product you are selling, is it baby food? Is this specifically for people who are dieting? Is this specifically for people who are, you know, maybe people that are trying to lose weight or people that are conscious of one thing or the other? So let's be specific about that. Are we still together, please? Can someone say something? Yeah. I want to be sure that we're together. Okay, all right. Thank you. So key resources, what do we need to actually ensure that um, this course is you know, well put together? The first thing is we need the course content itself, the materials for us to, to educate people with. We need to ensure that those things are together. That is one of our key resources. Having done that, we need also an experienced person that will do the teaching process. We need to market it. Those are our key resources. Now, from what we have here, of course, this, this is quite right. Okay, registration with government, uh, such as NAVDAC and the like. We have to do branding. But then, because it's so much, I'm trying to pick out the key points. Silly machine. 
Yes, those are also right. But then, how beautiful would it have been if we just do it in key points such that at a glance, we can really pick out um, the very important ones and mix it all. Channel. Now, you have done all of this. How do you intend to reach out to your audience? Don't forget that you have said that these are the kind of people you are trying to reach out to. So these kind of people you are referring to, where are they located? Where is the best place to reach them? How do you intend to reach them? Number one, online platform. Maybe like our website and the like. Social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Now, don't just say social media because and start listing these other places because everybody is using social media. But then these specific people we are looking at, where are they? Maybe they are more on Facebook because maybe they are students and they are trying to use a free uh, Facebook mode. Okay, let's target Facebook. Or maybe they are the younger generation. They are always on Twitter. You know, they are always tweeting one thing or the other. Let's target Twitter. Or maybe they are the professionals that are trying to move from nine to five and professionals are more on LinkedIn. You can see how strategic we are now. Or maybe we are selling clothes and you know that these people are usually on Instagram trying to show off their addresses and all that. Then let's target Instagram. So you must be specific as to the channel you want to use. So for you that you are selling um, maybe a, a, you know, something like our example now, maybe food item. You said our channel, our customers are reached through personal sales, supply to neighborhood store. Okay. Okay. Market, supermarket, and like, exactly. So this is quite good. So we are seeing that these people that we are targeting want to reach them via you know, they can walk into our our store to get it personally. You know, we have some neighborhood stores. We'll reach out to those people and that is our channel for selling. This is quite good. But like I said, let's make use of bullet points such that, you know, it can be seen at a glance. Now, for this product, what is our revenue stream? I won't put everything together. How do we generate funds? Number one, when people enroll, they pay a fee. That is our first source of income. Another thing could be that maybe we have done it in such a way that, uh, you know, there's an app that they can subscribe to and, you know, we give them some added advantage again as a subscriber. So that could be a platform. Maybe on the product on within the course, somebody is saying, come and advertise my, uh, my brand for me. They pay for sponsorship or some level of partnership, maybe to support the course. That's also another way of getting funding for, you know, getting revenue from this project. You can see how specific we are. So let's see what we have in our example. Now, when we say revenue stream, we are not saying source of funding. What this person is writing now is more like source of funding, saying our revenue is through personal savings, loans from family and friends. So this is actually referring to source of funding. We are saying that this food item you are selling, how do you make money out of it? Number one, maybe... Uh, you know, with the sales of that product, that is one way we make money. And maybe that is the only way. It doesn't have to be so much. But then maybe there are some other things that you do. For instance, um, you could have a show now. Maybe they show that you sell your brand to and there's a partnership that, okay, oh, you use our products for so-so-so thing and there's a kind of partnership. You can get money from that too. I don't want to use examples that are beyond what we have on the screen so that we are not lost and all that. So that is that about, I can say that it's already nine o'clock. Every other segment, let's look through and understand what is expected exactly and see how that we can just write it just in bullet points and straight to the answer. So I don't know if we have any question before I move to um, business plan. Do we have any question or I should go ahead and we'll talk about it later. All right, let's move ahead. Now, another uh, document that was submitted was a business plan. We have a business plan that has been submitted as far as this course is concerned. This very one, I try to go through it quickly. This, um, I don't know if we were given an outline to be used for this, this business plan. So, but then this is not bad. If what we are doing is just like an executive summary, 
all what we have here is just um, maybe about 10 pages. So it's not detailed enough. Yes, I know this is just you trying to think through the process in a little way, but then it could be better. So um, I also saw that we were looking at a particular sample from poultry farm the other time. Maybe that would have helped us a little bit. I actually kept an outline here that we can speak to quickly, maybe in the next five minutes. Now, for every business plan, there are some expectations. I know this course is not about business plan, but then I'm speaking to this because we've been asked to develop a business plan. Now, the first thing you have in your business plan is an executive summary. Why I said that is an executive summary. It summarizes everything you are doing. You understand? So, though it is usually written at last because it's supposed to summarize everything you have been doing in the document. So, I haven't done every other segment, then you now write this aspect as a summary of it all. So it comes first, but it is written last. Business description or company description. You know, people use different names. You can also say company overview. It's trying to say, okay, what is this company about in summary? Number one, that's where you talk about the background of the company. What's the company to maybe like the history? What is the problem they are trying to solve? What is the solution they are bringing on board? You know, what is the mission statement? This whole business, what, what do we intend to achieve? What is our vision? What is our mission for this business? What's our objective for maybe next three years or five years? What are we doing to succeed? That's what we mean by key to success. This business, is it registered as, you know, be um, a limited company? It's not going to be written in bullet points like I'm just saying it. I'm just trying to make us understand what are the key things that are supposed to be in the company description. So the next thing, I haven't done that. The, the all of this can run into about three pages. So the next thing is to go into the product and service. So what exactly are you selling? You want to describe your products in very few words, okay, um, this company is into sales of food. We sell uh, processed cassava. We sell uh, maybe processed cassava into gari. We're processing into starch. We're processing into this. You can talk about, okay, this is the sizes that are available. Um, you know, this is what is used for the applications. Maybe this starch we're doing is for industrial purpose. It's not, you know, there's a starch that some people also eat, the edible one. You can say, okay, this, um, you know, just brief description and what it is used for. The whole of this can also run into maybe one page or two pages, depending on the scope of what you are doing. You don't necessarily have to write so much um, story, but let's just see detail of what you are doing. Market analysis. Now, this place, you want to be in depth. You want to show us what is the potential in this market space you are serving. What is the trend? What is even making... Um, also have demand for this product you are trying to sell. What is the market demand? Who are your target customer? Okay, well, we're targeting students. Students who are within the range of so so and so so so. This is their income level. You know, this is like a detailed analysis of what is obtainable in the market. Want to also see your competitors. What are they doing? What are their strengths and weaknesses? Because if you are doing every any business, you should be able to know. Your competitor. For instance, if you say you are selling something and you say there's no competitor, you might be wrong. Maybe you should look better. For instance, if you say you are selling Maggi now and you are saying you are the only one selling Maggi and you know nobody, yes, there might be no other person selling Maggi, but there are some people that can use some other local stuff like um locust beans. You know, there are some um, Yoruba or call Iru. As much as that is not the process Maggi, but some people use it as an alternative. So that is a competitor. So that's how detailed you want to be as far as that segment is concerned. Then we have marketing strategy. How do you want to market these products? How do you want to reach those customers that you have identified ahead? What are the channels? You know, this is just like a full-blown, um, you know, business explanation as against the business model canvas as we dis discussed earlier. How do you intend to distribute it? Do you have outlets here and there? Or do you have people who come and pack it at your place and then move it out? How do you intend to promote it? Are you using um, maybe partnering with some persons that will help you promote? Are you using digital marketing? Are you doing newspaper advertisements? Is it big board? You know, we want to be sure that you have thought through the entire business process. SWOT analysis, what are your strengths and your weakness? And of course, you have opportunities, then we have threats. That's the full meaning of um, SWOT analysis. Now, all of these things don't have to be there. I'm only showing also that we understand what's obtainable. So personal, personal analysis is also another way of analyzing, you know, what is the political um, factors that can affect your business? What are the environmental issues and all of those things? 
manage management and organizational plan. Who are those that are in charge of this business? This is an opportunity for you to sell yourself. Okay, I'm 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 in charge of this food business. What make me capable to drive this business for the next five years and it won't fail? What experience do I have in that space that is a, that we are leveraging, or maybe somewhere else that we are transferring? So this is an opportunity for you to say, okay, who are those that will be needed? Do we need to get uh, maybe marketing manager? We have to get social staff, we have to get security, we have to get production manager and all of that. So you give an organogram of the workflow. We, we learned about organogram and business structure, I think, this week. So this is an opportunity for you to exhibit all of that. Put it in paper. The staffs you want to get, are they going to be graduates? Are they going to be, you know, what are the requirements? for them, how do you intend to recruit them? So this is an opportunity for you to sell that. Operational plan, now you want to detail everything you'll be doing. For instance, the first thing is maybe we'll buy our products that we're processing, like I was explaining beans processing the other time, maybe you peel it, you grind it, you package it, then after that you sell. How do, they, how do your customer interact with you? Maybe they see you online, from online they get your WhatsApp, from WhatsApp. You know, you want to explain the whole process of the customer journey here. Yeah. How do you ensure quality control? What are the technologies that you are using? Okay, we need a grinder, we need a peeling machine, we need a sealing machine. I think I saw something like that. Then we need you know, branding and all of that. So all of those things will be explained there. If there are some safety measures that has to be um, put in place, state it. If there are some agreements, maybe you say, okay, anybody buying our products within the next 15 days has to pay. If we're holding anybody within the next 15 days, we make payments and all of that. Major milestones. How do you intend to go about the business? Okay, in the first three months, this is what we'll do. In the next six months, this is what we'll do. And all of that and all of that. Okay, first three months, we register our business. Second three months, we, you know, maybe build our website, partnering with other people. We want to see that details. Sustainability plan. How do we sustain this business? The world is moving to maybe greenhouse now. Okay, we are bringing greenhouse or green energy into this business. You know, these are some of the things that we want to talk about. What are the risks, possible risks in this business? I believe that by now, if the person who wrote this initial business plan is on this call, you're already seeing that what you have written is like an executive summary, but you have done well, at least for the first time, but we can improve on it. So we are saying, what are the possible risks? You want to state the risks. Okay, uh, maybe there might be low production in beans production in the country, or maybe whoever we are buying from might disappoint. How do we intend to mitigate it? Okay, we'll get multiple people we'll be getting from our source. Okay, we'll be planting ourselves. Okay, maybe that be risk of people tipping and stealing our money. How do we intend to cope that? Okay, we have a software that cope, you know, you want to do all of those things to details. Now, financial plan. Usually, we want to see your projections. You know, how much are you selling? How much are you making? How do you generate your money? What's the profit margin? Usually we use an Excel sheet for this. So that is a more complex stuff. All of this, you can get those detailed explanation in our, uh, we have a course that actually teach you on business plan writing. You can enroll for that course if you really want to get details as to all of these things that are, this is just a summary. It can be more detailed than this, I understand. And we can also help you write your business plan if you have need for that. So. Uh, we also have the appendix. Now, these are uh, this is an opportunity for you to drop any supporting documents that can help whatever you are doing. Maybe you have said your business is registered as a limited, put the picture of your registration there. You are saying that, okay, we have secure partnership with some company that will be working with us, put the picture of the agreements there. You know, maybe we have gotten land, you, put, you have, you know, done survey and all of that, put the picture of the survey there. All of these things to back up your documents such that whoever you are presenting it to knows that you are actually ready for business and you have thought through the entire process so i think that is that as far as uh business model canva and business plan is consigned i will stop sharing now but if you have any question you can please ask all right thank you very much uh, mr Fita, for that detailed uh breakdown uh our time is fast thanks I think we are running up tonight's meeting already. Uh, this is now the opportunity for us to either ask questions or make comments or uh, give us some shout outs and then uh, as we round up tonight. And in our usual way, we usually take a snapshot uh, of a group participants as we end tonight's call. 
So if you have <coughs> comments or questions, uh, the floor is open. You can type it in the chat box or you can raise up your hand for us to give you the opportunity. That's why floor foods. Okay, yes. sir. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for the teaching. You're and uh, thanks very much for the last uh did I call him a lecturer now. <laughs> okay. That was great. Thank you very much. So I just want to talk about my own um business. Uh, I've seen the canvas uh business plan and the pitch desk uh, this. So like someone that is just starting, like uh, I've started this business for quite some time now, like two to three years, but I do work anyway. I know that okay. business needs time, but I don't really have, um, I do everything myself. I package uh, like what's uh, the uh, sample of the, uh, uh, what's it called? The business and modern covers that they give to us. So me, I do packaging of foods also. So I do them alone because I work. So I'm the only person working. Do I really need all this uh, business plan, uh, business uh, modern canvas and others? Do I really need it? That's one question. Then the second question is this. How should I take my business to the next level? Being that I'm just starting. So okay, so questions. thank you very much. Okay. Um. So the the first thing you want to do is to know the reason why you are putting together a business plan. So if you remember what I explained, is the fact that even if you are just starting, if it's just an idea that you have you still need to put your business plan together because your business plan is a document that is used as a roadmap for your business, all right? So apart from using it as an internal document where you can share, you can share with your management team to know where the future of this company is actually going, you understand? Then when you need to assess funding, you need the business plan. So now that you have started, and it's only you doing the business, is the right time for you to put a business plan document together because it will give you the big picture of your business and you will now begin to work towards it. You know, we say it's a working document. So you now begin to walk towards it and all that. So that's the that's the advice for that. And for your business to grow, all the knowledge that you have used or you have received in the academy, it's now time for you to now sit down to see how can you apply it to your business? Which one will make sense more than the other? You understand now? So you would now begin to, in terms of implementation, you might not be able to implement everything at the same time. But if it's just the, the business model canvas, you can implement immediately Do If it's the social media aspect, you can start implementing, you know, just ensure that you are making progress. Because at the end of this academy, what you should do is to sit down and list out one, two, three, four, five, six, things that you want to do. You understand as a, as a, because of the exposure of the information you have received thus far in your business. So you list them. So as you list them, you now begin to tick them one by one. So I hope that will help you as well. Um, Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Aremu says, thanks so much for all the explanations. It's really helpful. We improve on the BMC and work more on the business plan. That is a good, that's a good one from our side. Any other person that wants to make comment before we wrap up tonight because time is 
gone already. Our time is fast spent. If we don't have any other comments, can we open our, our videos if we can, so that we can take a group picture before we, we go tonight? So I know some uh, some places might be dark, all right, but we know it's it's a night lecture already. Okay, and it's also good to see our beautiful and awesome faces. All right. So let's do that quickly so that we can can take a snapshot. Okay. 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 All right, so I'm doing the snapshots now. Okay. All right, so I think we are we are good to go. So thank you everyone. So next week will be our last um, live call like this. All right. Um, for our digital trade fair. Sorry for that break in transmission. So like I said, our digital trade fair will run throughout this week. We'll be promoting anything you are selling. So if you are selling anything whatsoever and you think your customer can come from the internet, just put your write-up together, a flyer or a link, put some write-ups together, drop it in the group. <laughs> then we'll share it on all our platforms so that you can start getting customer because you are part of this uh, academy. So if you have any other question, feel free to drop it in the WhatsApp group. All right, we'll take time to respond to those questions as well. So we want to, if you have paid the order for any of the books that we mentioned, don't worry, by this week, you will be able to receive it as we package those things together. So thank you very much, everyone, as I end the call tonight. Have a lovely week.